Hello and welcome everybody. Today's video will be the finally the wait the video you guys have been waiting for. Today is going to be the settings video. Now this video is going to show you um, some tips and tricks of what I personally do before I go to a game of Apex um, ranked or regular BR. This is going to be very important. What I have, first thing I recommend is first off either do three arena matches. I mean, three separate matches with three separate teammates to warm up. If you think you're warmed up enough, then you can hop in the ranked or hop into the regular game. If not, keep going until you feel comfortable. Um, yeah, now, I do either three ranks, uh, three arena games, or I do the firing range. Um, it kind of depends on the day. A lot of times I will do one or the other. With this fire range, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have a gold backpack. Make sure your weapon is completely bare, except for a sight. I um, make sure you get it to, make sure it's two weapons that you use very, very much, uh, and make sure it's a sight that you are extremely comfortable with, or it's your, just your favorite sight in general. What I suggest to do: first off, if your aim is like this, just all over. The Fast aiming, you, just, you hit like three shots. Or maybe it's like this. You're just, you know, you're doing damage, but you're just not where you want to be. What's your your base? Basically, that if that's your case, you've came to the right place. Your guys are gonna learn recoil control, some settings for that, and just try to how to deal with certain scenarios. Um, so what I basically think is if you are aim assist and it's latching on like this That far away You know you did something right So basically at the end of this video you should have a 99 or a volt that does this No recoil absolutely none And if you want this You stay tuned because you have definitely came to the right video. Alright, so what do you say we go ahead and get into the settings? I will go down the list. This is just my settings. So, interact prompt style, I have as default. Um, some people, streamers, like to use compact. I just use default. Button hints, um, a lot of people have these off. For some reason, I just leave them on because I've just. It's what I've gone with since I've started. Season zero. That's what I'm gonna continue to go with. I just, it's just something cool in case I'm, especially if I'm tired. It's just like, oh, oh, I just hit that button. Okay. Crosshair damage feedback. I think default is X possibly. You're gonna be on X with shield to icon. Damage numbers. I always have it on stacking. You can do floating or you can do both. But I just kind of, I kind of do stacking. Ping opacity. So, <clears throat> if you have a ping, or someone is spam pinging, and it's just very, like, faded, or hard to see, or some, some stupid thing like that, um, then what it is, is it's on faded. You're going to want that on default. Obituaries, I have that on, just because I like, I just like it. I don't know why. As you do. Mini map rotation. Um, it's very odd. I tried that for a while. Yeah, um, it's that's something I think if I started off with, I'd probably be able to do it. But it, to me, it's just too much movement on my screen, um, especially if I'm trying to find enemies and my eyes are looking for movement. They're gonna get screwed up looking at that damn map and not trying to find somebody in the bushes hiding like a little bitch. This weapon auto cycle on empty. I, this didn't used to be in the game. Uh, I remember this screwing me over a lot. Make sure to set that to off. Auto sprint, I usually have that as on. <clears throat> Double tap to sprint, I have that off because I just don't need it. Jetpack control, now that is only for Valkyrie mains or players. Um, toggle would be you click the button and it stays going. Hold would be you hold the button as soon as you let go, she stops doing her jetpack and she falls down. Incoming feedback damage, I do 3D. Um, you can do 2D or both, or you can do 2D. I like 3D, I, don't know, I just like a little bit more of a visual effect to it. Taking damage closes death box or crafting menu. That was a big pain in the ass until they brought that until they brought that into the game as well. That I also have is off because it, that is very nice for shield swaps. 
hop up pop up um i did have that on and it just got annoying it kept saying oh select fire does this 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 and it just sits there on the screen it's like a fly get off <laughs> streamer mode um i thought i had that on well i have that off but i'm probably probably going to turn that on most likely uh, anonymous mode, I have to have this on, otherwise I get targeted. And I hate it. Usage sharing, I just disable that, because... I don't know, I just... I fuck them. They don't do enough. <laughs> Performance display, a lot of people have this on, I do not. It's Like I said, it's just the minimap thing. It is just unneeded, unnecessary shit on my screen that I do not want. Club invites, I keep that on, because it's very rare I get those but when I do it's nice to have them because the people to be on that I don't know are on and they know I'm on color blind color blind mode so you can do I'll show you these you got uh, proto nephobia I'm not sure how to say that and I'm not sure how to say that I just keep it as off um, I have toyed with it every once in a while and it's just did I turn that on I just have that off. I'll just start. Subtitles, I definitely have that off. Subtitle size, I have it normal. Just as I don't have them off. I have them off. This one's very weird and very odd. I have it off. Same thing with this. I just, I don't know. People just irritate me. Videos. Now, this is also going to be very important and part of your... Um, this will go into with your controls. Brightness, I have about right there. This is about ha over halfway to the third bar to the left of the right. Field of view. Now, this one is a very personal choice. Um, I recommend your field of view anywhere between 96 to 110. Um, I do 110 because I just like things zoomed in and zoomed out. Um, well, let me just show you. 106. See how it zoomed in? 110 zooms out sprint view shape this should also be your snapping problem with your it's say you're running back and forth with your weapon and you just can't snap on somebody as fast as you want part of that's going to be part of the alc and we will get to that in a moment but some of it's going to be this sprint view shape just the tiniest little thing to mess with your aim in this game or and it's very irritating but it's also very nice because you can just slowly here and there Take away at it. Audio. Um, I have dialogue at 70 because sometimes I need to be loud and I need to know what the hell's going on. Um, music volume. I have at 71 because I just. Eh. And then I have these both off because people irritate me. Okay, now, now here's what you guys are looking for. Make sure you pay very, very close attention to this. Button layout. Okay, I have always been at default. I probably will always stay at default unless I want to try. I mean, I tried doing some Battlefield 4 controllers, and I just, I'm, it's one of the things where I, since I've been playing this game since day one, I am so used, and it's embedded in my brain so hard to where this is my controls, this is how this, this does that. I've gotten used to how things react with it and do things. I just, it will not change probably ever. Um, let me show you different ones. Um, button jumpers, you know, it switches to your tactical ability to jump. Uh, you got melee and crouch. You got evolved. Grenadier or grenadier, whichever way you want to say it. And ninja, and you got customize. And then custom, let's see, and I did customize for a bit, but it just, it, it just messes with me, so I just kind of left it alone. But that's my settings. I just left it as default. Nothing too, uh, nothing too, uh, hard. All right, so stick layout. I also have this at default. You can swap it to being Southpaw, Legacy, and then you can do Legend Legacy Southpaw. Um, I have never touched that ever. Um, I've never even like just messed with it a bit ever. Um, Interact slash reload button. I have it on tap to use and reload. You can just kind of leave that there. 
Oh, I didn't think about that. Wait, wait, I left it. I left that tap. Crouch button. I have his toggle. Um. Hold is now. If you're looking for that very, very, very fast, very fast crouch spamming, like this. So you gotta hold the button. So if you're looking for your very, very fast crouch spamming, that's that. I mean, you can do that and just get away from people. I will turn that on occasionally here and there. Just to try to see if I feel about it. And I'm just like, nah, I don't want it. So I just don't. Um, now, survival slot. I have that on. I don't know why that would be off. Trader dead zone. This is going to be the important part. Trader dead zones are obviously going to be for Xbox RT, LT. Which is right trader, left trader. And then L2, R2 for PlayStation. Um, obviously the older your controller is, the less hairline it's going to have, and the less your, the less force it's going to take for your button to get pushed. Um, but the controller I just had before this, before I upgraded to this one, it was very touchy. I could just barely breathe on the controller, and it would shoot my gun when I do not want it to. It would give away, it would give away my position, and just, it just was, no. And then my button started going out, and I just eventually upgraded it upgraded so this is going to be very controller determined so if your buttons are very 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 sensitive to where you barely have to breathe on them and it shoots your weapon and you don't like that turn it up to default if it still does it turn it up more keep turning it up until it shoots when you exactly want it to shoot otherwise it's just it's gonna do what it does menu cursor speed i had this very high um I like to be able to just drop in a, I like to be able to hop into a break a uh, death box, run through real quickly what I want, and just skim snatch it. Um, especially with randos that just want to sit there and loot every damn thing, every you know, everything you want you could possibly have, they'll just sit there and snatch. That's how I get away with it by fucking them over like that because they piss me off. Movement dead zone. Now this is gonna be also control related. Large. Inverted look, I have off. And vibration, a lot of people will have off. I have on. And I will go into that a little bit later. The reason I skipped these is because... First off, I need to not skip them. Turn that off first. First thing you need to do... Turn your look sensitivity on 5. Turn your look sensitivity ADS on also as 5. Turn your per optic setting off. Now, after that is all set and looking just like that, go down to your response curve. Classic's obviously the classic respawn feel, so that'd be like Titanfall. Um, steady is a balance of firm control and fast aim. Fine aim would be specialized for that small gradual adjustment, so something very, very fast airline. You're starting to get more into the Call of Duty type stuff. Um, high velocity, quick response for every even-handed. Or very even-handed. And then linear is absolutely... No, nothing. The game is not doing any input or nothing at all. It's entirely just raw input of what you do. Every tiny little movement your controller stick or anything does will be implemented into the game. I have it on Classic because this game to me feels a lot like Titanfall 2 and it's it worked very well in Titanfall 2. So why wouldn't I put that the same feeling in this game? Vibration. Now, there are certain controllers in the market. I personally have an Afterglow controller. It's $30 at Walmart. I highly recommend this controller. Highly recommend this controller. I'm on my second one now. Um, I had it for two years before it died. And by died, I mean just the buttons start going out. And I know a lot of people have had very bad luck with these controllers. But I have not. Um, I know the worst, one of the worst complaints is your cable for the, the controller itself blows. That is an easy fix. What you need to do is get the charge cable for a PS4 controller, DualShock, a DualShock 4 controller from Walmart. It's $5. Or really anywhere else that's for the PS4. Plug it in, it works perfectly fine. Does nothing. I also highly recommend a wired controller. Your latency is 
I don't, people say latency doesn't hurt in this game, or just in general. Personally, I feel latency kills you in wireless controllers. Then, there's been times where I've had people have a wireless controller and their batteries die, or because the control, the damn control, uh, damn console doesn't tell you when they die. And then you die, then you lose the game. You could have, you know, you could have a 20 kill game on the way and lose the, the 20th kill due to the battery's death. Just do yourself a favor. Instead of beating things in, get a wired controller, get an afterload controller. I highly recommend it. With this afterload controller, well, with this afterload controller, you can you can adjust your dead zone on the actual app of the controller to absolute zero, and then have the game dead zone adjusted the way you want it to. Or you can set dead zone inside the controller even more if you want it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by this. This is the PDP version. I believe it's twenty-five, thirty dollars. That's an Afterglow wire controller. So the, what's the very nice thing about this? First off, you can set your volume. Mine's just that high because my headset is just dick. What you can do... Is you... This is what I'm talking about. Adjust your dead zone to the analog sticks up to 50%. That means you can do something inside the controller... That's not even... In the game yet. So what you do is you turn it on, or you got zero. And make sure, if you do get this controller, and you do get this app, this, this app's very nice, make sure you go down and hit Mirror Dead Zone, so it does it for both sticks. Same thing with your triggers. You can do the same thing with your triggers. You can turn it all the way down. Or you give it a hundred. Very, 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 very touchy. Very, very, very customized. And I very, very much highly... I highly recommend this. This is the only another thing. If you do not want your vibration turned off, and you still want that feeling in that controller, this controller lets you adjust exactly how much vibration is sent into your controller so you can still have vibration still have that low feel and you can still have a vibration now this may seem very weird to people but this also happened with me i noticed sometimes that it was messing up my aim and my my um just how i control my up and down on my stick is my controller would vibrate too hard on the default vibration setting for the game so what I would do is I came in here and I adjust. It was at 100%. I turned it all the way down to 2%. That way I, it still vibrates pretty, not, not intense, but it's enough to where I feel it and I know I'm getting hit by a gun or a nade or I've been hit by that. Because for me, I have to feel it while I visually see it. And if you happen to notice your aim is off a little bit, it's probably because your controller's vibration is too high. And, be, and you don't want to turn it off, so you just kind of deal with it and put up with it. This is going to be your suggestion. This is going to be the way you fix that. And then obviously, you can change whatever light you want. That is just what I recommend. Let's go ahead and go back to the game. Okay. So after you have completely mirrored all of this, now the fun begins. Custom look controls. Some people don't know what this is. Sometimes people just don't want to deal with these. Well, Apex had an update not long ago to where instead of the, just being a bar, they added a percentage. Now what you're going to want to do is for your dead zone, I have three. So remember, you already have the zero dead zone in the controller. So whatever this game gives the controller, it's going to do. It's not going to interfere. Out of the threshold, I have it 2%. I don't really mess with it a lot. Turn that all the way down to 2%. Actually, I think it's already at 2. Width of the outer buffer, defining the boundary of the max instead, stick input. So basically, just how much is your stick has to be inputted into it. Response curve. I have, I have this at a 6. Now, here's another important part with your aim. 
per optics ADS settings. This is another very particular, very adjustable control. Turn this on. This will immensely help you aim. This will be up for me. Might even be what your problem is. You just need that extra oomph. 1x optics iron sights I have at 1.1. 2x optics I have at 0 0.9. 0 or 3x I have at 1.3. And I just keep going up. The more, it seems like for me, the more magnification I have, the higher sense I have to have. Because it just seems slower. That's just me though. I'm very odd when it comes to that. Uh, my 4X is 1.5. My 6 is 2.3. My 8X is 2.2. And my 10X is a 2.3. This can also very, very much help with your aiming. But there's definitely more to this. So your yaw speed, this is how quickly you move left to right. You can turn left to right. I have this set at 330. Your pitch speed, I have this set at 260. You don't want, to me, I don't think you want, I think you want it halfway in the middle of the default line and the yaw speed. Or if even a little bit more, you just want it slightly in the middle of the yaw speed. You just don't want, to me, you just don't want too much. You're going to be going up and down, up and down, up and down. Like a damn fire hydrant on a teeter-totter or something. Turning extra yaw. What this does is it gives you, it, it makes your movements even quicker. And you're, you're turning extra yaw. What this does is it makes your, just, your stuff just a little bit, just a little bit smoother, I feel like, too. I have this at the 30. I don't want too much, and I don't want too little. This seems to be a very smooth pace, and it's exactly what I will do. Turning extra pitch, I have at 30. Same reason. Just makes things smoother to me, and just kind of goes. Turning ramp up time, I have that at zero, and ramp up delay. Why the hell would you want it, your button to, why the hell would you want to push uh, your stick to go up or down or left and right, and then have a delay? Like, that's like lag. It's basically lag. Why the hell would you want that? Put that at zero. ADS yaw speed, 200%. ADS pitch speed, I have at 145. ADS turning yaw, I have at 90. And I have all three of these turning extras anything off. 0%. Turning extra pitch, your ramp up time, and your ramp up delay. Once again, why would you want to delay? You want it all zero. Target compensation. Now, there's a rare, rare thing I've seen, and it has happened to me like once. Very, 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 very occasionally. Like, very. It's. But as good as a chance is the solar eclipse every day. So it's, it's a very slim chance. Let's say your target locking isn't working. Or something just seems like it's not snapping to the th things, to your targets. Turn these off. To use turn these both off, start with the melee, then go to the target. And what if, to me, I feel it might just be a mental thing. I feel like it resets the calibration to it. And after that, guys, that is it. That is it. Please do me a favor. Implement these if you want to. Obviously, if now if something is too, if you feel like you're going too fast up and down, or you're aiming too fast, always you do not have to use these settings like to a T. These are just the way I do it. Now, if if this seems too fast, knock it down a few pegs. If you want to be able to get the get the the two or the, an even number. Keep clicking in the middle till you get an even number, then go down to the even number you want. So let's say I want like 0 0.9. Just keep clicking till you get like a neat like a zero like a 1.2 or something like that. Then you click down to get 0 0.8. But I mean, you're, there's a way you can get this. Same thing with the nine. You just go all the way down to the very end, and then you click up, and it's gonna go through the odds. But anyway, I hope this helps you guys. If anything is too fast for you, or too slow, knock it up one or two notches until you get it right but these two i definitely would leave the way they are but these are also going to be if your controller is drifting knock this up what you're going to want to do is knock this dead zone up until your controller stops moving drifting by itself usually it stops drifting at around nine to ten percent just in case you had that problem other than that guys you should have a 99. It does this. Well, I forgot I had a crouch thing. Uh, 
other than that, guys, this has been it. This is, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if this is at all. Um, hell, give me a, tell me how much it helps you, or, hell, maybe it helps you get through ranks. Or, uh, any questions that you, uh, about something you're not sure about in this game, just hit me up. Just hit, uh, send a comment. Never know till you ask. So all of that, guys. I think that will be it for today's video. Have a great one, and I will see you on the next one.